And what are they picking up and eating here? Um, they pick sometimes pieces, pieces of chow, but they also pick like tiny little flowers or just the leaves by itself. So they forage. They love picking uh, new leaves, new leaves and buds, that kind of stuff. The track is, uh, is, you know, has all this uh, protection, you know, so the monkeys cannot make any damage to the track, you know, so the, the concept here is different, you know, we are in cages and the monkeys are free. The longevity of, of this program is mainly behavioral research. In the island there is no vaccine developing studies or anything like that. You will find mainly people who are studying uh, sociobiology, the study of how monkeys interact uh, with themselves, what is fear, how do you choose your mate, um, how you, uh, you know, exert power on others. Uh, and so essentially monkeys, in a way, they are a reflection on us, you know, what we are, uh, how, why we behave this way. So people are using monkeys as a model to understand humans, in a way. So understanding monkeys, we understand ourselves. Soil has a substance inside you. It's just like if you're taking a, that medicine. We really get to study what they know about the world in a world that they would normally live in. Um, and we wouldn't be able to do the kinds of studies that we do in really their naturalistic habitat, you know, out in India or in Asia somewhere. And it's going to roll behind this tunnel. And when it comes out, you're going to expect a brown peach to come out, um, even though what actually came out was a lime. Um, and the question is whether or not now how many objects the monkeys think is actually are actually behind the screen. So when you show them, look, there's nothing back there, is this surprising to them? Or are they like, oh, I saw one thing go in, one thing came out, and that's all I expect. So. It's true. It's a bad thing. I can join Group M. I'll transfer it. Yeah, you, know? you will be perfect for Group M. You, know, you, <laughs> you spent too long on that. But you, know, you yeah. cannot use your, you cannot use your lenses, okay, because they can you never see monkeys with lenses, do you? No. By the way, we should do... So you're up for 10 minutes. Well, I can. Uh, Yale is kind of a weird system. It's the old system. Um, so my contract is for another four years, but I can go up to any point in the middle of that. And they've decided that it's a good idea to go up and make it. So I'll just go up there and see what happens. And normally, the first time they tell you, well, let's wait another year, perhaps you have the idea. But at least they can.
we know all the information concerning demography, you know, who's born, uh, who dies, who's, who's the son of whom, and all this kind of stuff. And we have that since, you know, for a very long time. So it's an ideal information that we can provide any investigators. Well, the monkeys are tattooed, so you can have an, you know, an ID of each individual. So it's, you know, it's something that it's very hard to do when you're studying population biology. When you're out there, you know, you first need IDs. And imagine going back so many back, you know, generations. And here you have it, and we have that information. So that's, that's something that's very appetizing to most investigators. And you do the same thing. 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 Thank you. 